Hey Sagittarius, it's me Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and do like a daily reading, but before I um, do a new video for today, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I know the last video I did, it cut off after Capricorn or during Capricorn for the people you're dealing with. So I'm going to finish that for these three signs, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and then I'm going to get into the actual um, video. So if you guys don't want to watch for this part, you can always just um, skip ahead. It should take probably like five minutes. Okay, it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Cross Watch, for Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to end off, like, for this part of the video from the last video. It's going to be kind of like a second part, and then I'm going to do, like, what's currently going on, plus the weekend as well, like a weekend reading for Friday through Sunday. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead, if you're dealing with the Capricorn, guys, let's see what's going on in regards to love or current past person. Okay, we have emotional loss to so the Five of Cups. So if you were dealing with a Capricorn, you could have had some kind of emotional loss with this person, okay? But I feel like a new start is coming. So if you were dealing with a um, Capricorn, I feel like you might have a new start with this person. But there was some kind of ending, or you feel sad about something, okay? Also, finances and career could be a factor, okay? It could be about money, as well as this could be the one. So maybe you guys have thought a lot about money. I also have healing family issues on the bottom, okay? So let's go ahead and get... Some more cards here. Okay, so I have, you're all I ever wanted, but I was in a bad place when I met you. Okay, so this Capricorn, maybe they were dealing with a lot of things financially, and that was the situation. Maybe they had to heal family issues, like I said. Let's get some song lyrics. Okay, Love Will Tear Us Apart Again by Joy Division. <clears throat> also, I can hardly speak when I try. It's nothing but a squeak. The 1975. Okay, so maybe this person has a hard time talking to you because they feel guilty because I do get the Five of Cups. So I could have a lot of guilt here. Okay, maybe they're sad about how things ended with you guys. Maybe they feel kind of selfish, like it wasn't your fault. Like they couldn't really give you what you wanted. Okay, I got the Ace of Pentacles though. Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely is having a new start with you. Um, this Capricorn. Because they got the, a new emotional fulfillment as well as stem, something stable too. And that was one of the cards we have as a new card or a new start is coming. Okay, so let me clarify some of the energies here. So I'm going to do like two cards. One for you, one for your person to clarify each of these three cards. Definitely feel like someone's coming back around. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Two of Wands reverse. Someone's made a choice. Knight of Cups. So somebody's made a choice here and the other person definitely wants to come in. Okay, so just take what resonates with this Capricorn here. Ace of Cups. Ah. Okay, it landed on the Three of Cups. So definitely a celebration here with this person. Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody's still kind of afraid to open up or coming off like they don't really want to express their feelings here. Okay, the Five of Pentacles reverse. I have the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So there's some decision on... Somebody, like, is kind of afraid of their pride getting in the way of coming back around is what I'm seeing. Okay, someone's taking, like, where well, they're scared about their pride getting in the way about coming back together. And they're also, somebody else is kind of scared, like, to invest into this or, like, not sure they should walk away or if they should continue. Okay. So if you know the Capricorn, that could happen here. Let's go ahead and do an Aquarius. Sagittarius. And then I'll get into your guys' weekend reading. All right, so if you're dealing with Aquarius here, let's see what's going on. Currently or in the past. Okay, this could also be like maybe somebody you're going to meet here soon. So let's see what resonates. Okay, so we have recognition reward. Okay, so maybe you are getting a lot of, um, you're getting like a lot of, um, I can't think of the word, like a lot of popularity with this person or you're getting their attention, Okay. I also got the energy is gaining momentum. Communication is key. Okay, so I definitely feel like you guys are speaking a lot. Okay, maybe this person's giving you a lot of their time and energy. Okay, I never thought I would feel this way. You gave me hope when it comes to love. Okay, so if you're doing the Aquarius, maybe they never thought they would, you know, be feeling this way. I feel like you guys are having a lot of good energy with each other. You guys are talking maybe a lot, communicating. Okay, we have... Yeah, you could be the king, but watch the queen conquer, Nicki Minaj. Maybe they see you as being very powerful, like you are very good at um, 
you know, conquering the world. They're the boss lady. Okay, they could feel that way about you. Go ahead and do one more shuffle. Eight of Swords reversed. They're like getting out of their head about you. Temperance, okay. Ooh, Six of Wands. So this could be a victory. I feel like you guys have a very passionate connection. You guys are very balanced. Like you guys get each other like right off the bat is what I'm seeing. Like you guys have good communication. Maybe you like their energy, like being around them. Okay, with the Eight of Swords reversed, I have the Six of Pentacles and somebody's energy here. So there's balance with the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely like work being put into this connection. Okay. So Temperance, Seven of Swords reversed. You guys are very truthful. The Hermit reversed. Somebody still is kind of trying to get answers how they feel, okay, when it comes to their logic. But I feel like you guys are, somebody is very truthful here. And someone's still trying to get knowledge on the situation. Like how they feel. They're trying to still kind of figure themselves out. Like how they feel in this connection. Six of Wands. Judgment. Someone's making a choice here. King of Cups reversed. Somebody could be like not really expressing how they feel very like. Not really cold, but they just maybe aren't really expressing how they feel for it. They kind of hide it. Okay, and then also someone's making a judgment call in regards to this Aquarius here. It's like someone's making a choice, but I definitely feel like you guys have a lot of chemistry, a lot of good connection. All right, let's go ahead and do, if you're dealing with a Pisces, what's currently going on, or if this is a past person. What are you looking for, buddy? A launchable? So we have firm foundation. So you guys could have had like a firm foundation together. Okay, you guys could have lived together. Could have just been a good steady relationship. Okay, baby, I'll get it for you. One second. Here you go. Come get your lunchable. Here, babe. Mm -mm, yummy, is that ham? Yeah. Smells good. Okay, and then we have a new start is coming. So you definitely could have something new here with the Pisces. Oh, wait, shoot. I just realized, guys, I didn't get these cards for the last time. <clears throat> religious factors okay this could be very strong into like religion okay we have wedding let your friends help you reconciliation as well as uh, children so you could have kids with this person okay let's see here though let's go ahead and get some out of my deck here okay I was very selfish and I'm sorry so this definitely could have been a past person you dealt with a person you had children with because I do see like wedding maybe it's in the potential or it was going to get to that point you guys never got it to the point of a wedding but I feel like they are sorry about their actions you guys are going to maybe reconcile and there is a new um, start here okay maybe it's got this Aquarius got this too you could be the king but watch the queen conquer Nicki Minaj I'll go ahead and get another you could be wait you can get addicted to a certain kind of sadness so somebody I used to know as well as maybe this person's like sad because you guys aren't together and they see you conquer. Maybe they watch you socially on like social media. And they see that you're always doing so well. And they kind of feel bad because you were so great to them. And you guys had something good. And they kind of feel like they messed it up. Let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. And I'm going to do what's going on with this Pisces here. Okay, four of wands reverse. Page of wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're like... There's a sense where some, you're not really wanting this connection or coming towards it anymore because you're... I feel like you don't deserve like, what they offer you. You feel like you deserve like way better. Okay, that's just like what I'm getting here. Let me get one more shuffle. But I feel like you are... Somebody's here not really wanting this connection. There's kind of a sense of like somebody rejecting it and not really feeling the same about it as, it, as they once did. Four of Wands reverse. Let's go to, get two energies here. Okay, the Empress reverse. Yeah. And the Two of Swords reverse. Somebody's making a decision, okay, maybe to have this connection. And the other person doesn't really want to entertain it. They kind of want to focus on their self. Okay. The Page of Wands reversed. I have the Ten of Cups reversed. Queen of Swords. Someone's being very truthful here. Okay. Someone's being like honest. And then the other person's kind of like unsure. Not feeling hopeful about the connection. Queen of Pentacles here. Or this Pisces. Magician. <laughs> yeah. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody doesn't really want this anymore. And the other person's wanting to manifest this. I feel like if you're, you are definitely dealing with this Pisces here, they definitely want to manifest you back into their life because they see like you potentially doing so well in your life and they feel like you just are doing everything, you know, you're, you have so much going on for your life that they want to be a part of it, but I don't really feel like you feel that way anymore. Okay guys, now I'm going to go ahead and see currently 
what's going on. Or wait, not currently. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do a current energy for today. So Thursday the 25th. Current energy. Then I'm going to do weekend energy, guys. Current spiritual strength, okay? So we got the number nine here. So nine could be a factor. As well as there's a lot of green here, too. Okay, so I feel like you are maybe on a spiritual level here, Sagittarius, okay? Okay, we also have bounds. Yeah, spirituality and practicality. So you definitely are kind of focusing on your spiritual beliefs. Okay, we also have personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're kind of starting to get the knowledge that you have here. Okay, or you're starting to try to see things from a better perspective today at least. Maybe trying to meditate more as well. Also got true love, okay? So you could feel like you have some kind of true love opportunity, okay? But there's a sense of loving yourself first and kind of allowing what you think you deserve into your life. You got playfulness too. Very, could be a very like passionate connection here. Okay, let's go ahead and get actually a song lyric for the current situation for you guys. Song lyric. What could be going on currently for today, Thursday for you guys? Okay, so we have... Now, even though I played off, I'm thinking about you all day long. It's Jay Holiday, um, Suffocate. So you could be thinking about somebody a lot here. A lot of them taking maybe your spiritual strength, okay? Maybe you're doing a lot of thinking about this person. You feel like they're not coming towards you. Or you're just kind of stressing because you feel like you have love for this person. But you also need to, like, love yourself. Like, maybe you're putting more energy into that person than you are yourself, okay? So I'm going to get kind of what I did with the last couple of signs I'm going to do three card spread and then I'm going to do two energies revolving those cards so currently we got the hair fence temperance reverse the sun so there's a sense of some kind of happiness here okay but you're also kind of imbalanced in your um, feelings you're not really sure where you feel you feel like you're maybe if it's not to do with a marriage you feel like you've learned all the lessons you can you've learned some lesson in life maybe in regards to love okay or finding your own happiness you feel like you're on that path okay but there's a sense of still feeling like just not there. You just feel kind of um, like not complete. So I feel like there's something kind of going on within you that you're not able to control yourself, okay? You could be very maybe mad at this time, kind of like tempered, easily triggered. I know that's been me lately. I don't know why. I've just been very like easily triggered. All right, let's go ahead and get the hair fan here, guys. So two energies surrounding the hair fan. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups and the Magician Reverse. So there's a sense of somebody wanting new love here or to um, have some kind of new beginning. But there's also a sense somebody's not really wanting to manifest it. They're not putting all their attention into it. And I feel like if that's the person you're dealing with, I feel like you're starting to get knowledge on this here. Like you want to put like all your love into this person, but they're still just not. Maybe they're ghosting you. They're not talking to you. They're not really putting much effort in. And I feel like you're starting to learn that the hard way here. And if it's not learning like a... A situation it could be someone superior in your life that with the hair event could be somebody you've seen as potential of like marriage um, it could be a father okay it could be a Taurus temperance here reverse I feel like it's got you kind of in your feelings and triggered this connection okay so we have the king of swords reversed and the queen of why oh my gosh yeah so definitely somebody I feel like why you're so like somebody's in their feelings and like the main situations of temperance reverse your feelings are all over the place because you feel like I feel like you're the queen of wands and if this is rules reverse you feel like like you are kind of um defeated in regards you feel like someone's not finding you attractive and not into you anymore this person's not speaking to you with the king of swords reverse you feel like they're not speaking to you they're mad at you for something okay and I feel like it's just kind of messing up your whole just th th um thought process everything's just not there okay the sun we have a three of swords. It's like you're trying to come off like you're happy, having fun, but there's a sense of some kind of heartbreak here. Okay, but I feel like there's a sense of something hurting you. And I feel like you're the three of swords. And with the six of swords at first, I feel like this person is still kind of in your energy or they're still not letting you go. Okay, they're still not letting you go, but there's a sense of they're like mad, they're not speaking to you, and it's got you all feeling kind of a type of way is what I'm seeing, okay? I feel like you guys are feeling a type of way about this person, like... You want to have a new beginning, you want to have love with them, but they're just not talking to you. Maybe you've tried texting and they're not like, replying to your message. Okay, let's go ahead and do what sign they could be. Could be a Libra. Ooh. Pisces. Okay, Gemini. They could have this in their chart. 
could be an Aquarius as well. But I definitely feel like you, you feel like you've kind of lost with this person. Like you do have love for them, but you also need to love yourself first today, okay? So now I'm going to do by day. So I'm going to do Saturday, uh, Friday, what could happen here. Okay, so let's see what's going on Friday, 26th for Sagittarius. Okay, uh, guys. So yeah, we have light, trapped in fear, moving on. Okay, so this is like the Six of Swords here. Definitely feel like there's a sense of you just kind of finding out the truth here or trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But it's like you're still stressed, okay? With the Eight of Swords, um, Six of Swords, a lot of air energy, a lot of mental drainage is what I'm seeing. Okay, I feel like you are on Friday. You are going to be just wondering whether or not to move on from a situation. You're kind of stuck how you feel. get a moonology card for the what's going on Friday okay balance spirituality and practicality came out again full moon in Pisces so you have to kind of think logical here like what to do like what's the best thing to do and I feel like you're thinking a lot you're trying to be happy with the light card okay you're trying to be happy and see the end of the tunnel but I just feel like you're kind of in a dark place okay we've got new love let go of control issues definitely feel like you need to move on because there is some kind of new love opportunity coming. Somebody new in your energy or surrounding you, okay? So this is a, like you're dealing with a past person or person currently. I feel like you need to kind of move on if it's not going in that sense, okay? Let's get a song lyric for you. I know some people search the world to find something like what we have, okay? So maybe you have, you can have something new, some new potential here with somebody new. Okay, but you're still holding on to this past person or this person you currently were dealing with. And it's just, it's doing nothing but draining your energy and making you depressed. Okay, with the Knight of Swords. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Death. I definitely feel like you're wanting to end something because you want balance in your self here. Okay, it could be an impulsive conversation that you're trying to put the work into. Okay, I definitely feel there's a sense of a balance. But there's also a sense where you're ending something. Okay, we get one more shuffle, and I'm going to get the two energies for these three cards. So you guys can't really see them. There we go. Okay, so what's the surrounding energy of the Knight of Swords? Okay, Seven of Wands reversed. I feel like you're not wanting to be scared anymore. You're like, somebody's not wanting to be scared, as well as the Temperance reverse, but somebody is so calm and collective. I feel like... Someone's not really controlling their emotions very well. If it's a person that you currently are dealing with, they could be just like you're wanting to have communication and talk to them, but they could just be all over the place, not answering you, not sure what to say. If it's a new person here, they could be like you're feeling like you could trust this, you want to like jump in and talk to them, but they're kind of not sure how they feel just yet. Okay, Six of Pentacles here. Okay, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Four of Cups. There's a sense of kind of rejecting a situation because you want to bring balance to yourself. You feel like something's not really coming together. Something's moving too slow or somebody's not putting in any effort. I feel like on both energies, this is kind of like a not two good energies next to each other. The Six of Pentacles, you you want there to be some kind of balance. Maybe to have balance, you guys have to just kind of move on from this person and you kind of reject this current um, person. Here. Maybe not a new person. I think you need to end something here with the death. Queen of Wands, okay, and the Two of Swords reverse. I feel like someone's going to make a decision here, and I feel like you're the Queen of Wands, and you have other options. So you're just kind of like, you know what, I don't need this. Put an end to this. This person maybe even just put an end to it as well. You guys could just be both. on. This is just take what resonates, but I feel like on Friday you guys are going to kind of feel like a sense of just like kind of giving up, moving on from something that don't satisfy you. Let's see what signs you're dealing with on Friday, or what could be like in your energy on Friday. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, and then we have Cancer as well. So I definitely feel like there's a sense that you guys are kind of just like not putting much energy into something anymore. Okay, like because there is something new coming for you. Okay, so especially if you put up with this person for a while, I would just, I wouldn't. Honestly, it's not worth it. So, okay, let's see what's going on Saturday, the 27th. Okay, we have Material and Spiritual Prosperity. Okay, so I feel like there is a sense of getting kind of yourself here, feeling better on Saturday. You kind of feel like you can succeed, feel kind of successful. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So definitely feel like you're trying to do something 
to get knowledge or to get kind of a sense of, um, like, you kind of want, like, attention from people, okay? But you're, like, try not to be scared, okay? Now, let's see what cards we get, guys. We kind of got a lot here. So, could involve your children, this new love, let go of control issues, love yourself first, deception, okay? So, maybe, like, somebody in your past, um, on Saturday, like, somebody was like kind of maybe from your past was this um deceptive you kind of lying to you okay but i feel like you're controlling like not loving this new person because you're trying to love yourself first maybe because of your children so you're kind of just being on delay with this person and i feel like you do have definitely a new person coming in this weekend because i got new love twice already okay so yeah so we have um let me go now because time has made me strong i'm starting to move on okay by jojo so it definitely feels a sense that you're moving on from a past person and kind of focusing on this new person here, okay? Which is good because I I know me I don't really put up with stuff for very long like, and if I do it's I must really like you if I put up with stuff for a while because I usually just give up. To be honest, I, if something doesn't go my way, I'm kind of bratty. I'll just give up. Okay, the moon reverse. I feel like there's secrets are coming to revealed here with the deception card. I feel like you're finding things out about a person. Ten of wands reverse. It's like. You're just wanting to let go of this and not be stressed. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're wanting to move on. There's a sense of moving on, letting something go because of some truths that you found out or something that like was hidden from you. So let's get the energies between these three cards here for these people. Try to move them over. So the Moon Reverse. I definitely feel like somebody was keeping something from you. Could have been somebody from your past. It could have been keeping back. Maybe how they feel. Ten of Swords, okay, as well as Seven of Swords Reverse. Somebody's wanting to, somebody feels hurt here is what I see. Somebody feels hurt by it, and I feel like it might be you, by what somebody, I feel like somebody came true about how they felt, or you found out the truth about this person, and they kept it a secret for a while, and it's causing a lot of pain. You feel manipulated, you feel kind of just really hurt, and like dug in the ground, okay? Ten of Wands Reverse, I feel like you're wanting to let go. Queen of Pentacles Reverse, Two of Pentacles, I feel like this you're kind of in a sense where you just are kind of not feeling so good with yourself. Like, you don't feel good enough. You don't feel like maybe you have the right standards when it comes to the situation. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you're wanting to let this go, but this person still is, like, surrounding your energy, okay? This person's still kind of in your energy, or you're still, they're still kind of juggling you in their life somehow. Six of Swords. I definitely feel like there is a sense of moving on. Wheel of Fortune and the Hey Man. Somebody's still stuck what to do this could be whoever but i feel like there's an energy of somebody wanting something new here new fate to take place and then also a sense i feel like the person you're dealing with is a hey man reverse they're wanting to get they got more knowledge maybe to move on i know either of these could be you so either you want something new so you have to move on or this person maybe you guys both are just like thinking you need to just you know kind of end something here they get the knowledge that something needs to end okay or you guys need to walk away from something so take what resonates it could be just walking away from a situation with this person or um let's see what sign you guys could be doing with okay aries leo sagittarius taurus virgo again and then we have earth so you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign this weekend but yeah i feel like there's a sense definitely of just wanting to move on kind of leveling up your energy kind of changing okay and not putting up with more than you deserve here or i mean not more less than you deserve all right let's see what's going on sunday okay we have truth as well as patience and planning so i definitely feel like you're getting some truth and knowledge here patience is kind of a, um, a factor okay maybe you gotta it took a while to kind of find out the truth on a situation definitely feel like this weekend you are going to learn some stuff or just get like more of a spiritual awakening okay luck is on your side and then be bold make the first move okay so you definitely maybe it's something that you kind of had to like wait on to make the first move okay Man. express your love yes yeah, so i definitely feel like you need to express your love love is um luck is on your side here this weekend on sunday let me see what other cards flirt and then give your relationship a chance definitely feels like a lot of like heavy energy with something new here guys Let's go ahead and get okay all right so I've <laughs> two lyrics here I'm lost and I'm found but it's torture being in love and then love will tear us apart again okay so I feel like there is a sense of what I'm getting 
there's a sense of trying to make something work here. And it could be this new person, or it could be also the past person, the person you were dealing with. Because I am getting kind of some past energy here with those song lyrics. I'm getting somebody that you kind of had love for. Okay, but it could be a new person. Let's go ahead and get some cards here. The Tower, Ten of Pentacles, Reverse, Judgment. I feel like somebody's making a choice here. Something's changing here. Somebody feels like something's just not working out anymore. Or it's not going to be stable. It's not coming together. Okay. Let's see, guys. We have an energy of the high priest is reversed. So tower moment made somebody not trust something. Okay, the nine of pentacles. So I definitely feel like somebody in here is not trusting their some like some big change that happened. They're not trusting their gut. They're not trusting their intuition about some change. And then there's also a sense of a change happening, making somebody want to be single or focus on their independence. Okay. So take what like which card you think you guys are. Okay, Ten of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Cups reverse, and then we have the Six of Swords. Definitely somebody feeling like this isn't working out. They're not putting the time or effort into this anymore. It's not stability. That's not maybe the love anymore. It's while well, somebody else is walking away. Definitely feel like you are walking away from something and having new stuff in your life, Sagittarius. Okay, the Judgment, there is a Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So somebody definitely isn't putting time into this. There's a lot of pain and betrayal maybe about this situation. Okay, you feel like you put in maybe a lot of time into this person and it's just not going the way you want it to. You're trying to trust your judgment what to do. Okay, so let's see what sorry to be dealing with. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Okay, I got Gemini, Pisces, Libra on the bottom, air on the top here. Let's go ahead and get the heart of the mess of the uh, weekend reading. Let's see kind of one of these cards and see. So, I was very selfish and I'm sorry. Okay, somebody could have been very selfish is what I'm seeing, guys. So, I hope you all enjoy the reading. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a thousand, like a 1K subscription giveaway. So, make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Sagittarius underscore, um, ugh, under, what is that? Yeah, underscore soul underscore tarot. So, make sure you guys do that. And um, keep up the good work by liking, subscribing, and commenting.